so i've had these perfumes for months now at least three months and i can tell you how well they have changed so far because the thing about middle eastern perfumes is that you have to leave them to cook to recook and macerate with time and these ones have macerated so i'm here with the update what's up you guys this is your wing lady and i'm back today with another beautiful video <laughs> hey guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well wing lady is doing so great so i've got about nine perfumes here with me they were from two different haul videos so i just decided to combine everything and give you the update after months and months of maceration by the way before we get into the video maceration simply means taking your bottles of perfume out of their original packaging spraying them out to let the oxygen out of the perfume then you come back later after some time to check whether it has cooked now what i do personally is that when i get a new perfume after unboxing and spraying it out i leave it for a week or two weeks then i come back i spray it out again then i come back in the next two weeks i spray it out again two two weeks i spray about five sprays just out just spray it out so i leave the bottle on my shelf but i don't put it back into the box i think there's a thing i recently saw a comment on my page about if you put it back into the box the maceration doesn't work but if you take it out of the box then it works i'm not sure but i think you should actually take it out of the original packaging so it can get exposed to atmospheric pressure atmospheric oxygen <laughs> atmospheric temperature and all the shenanigans anyway let us check the perfumes out so the first one on this list this is saheb that's been macerating for a long time this was featured on my men's perfumes haul video and it has turned to something beautiful i liked it initially when i got it i liked saheb when i got it instantly it was an instant love for me but i'm happy to tell you that it is still a love it smells even more blended and rounded now when i first sprayed it it was still a bit sharp and screechy now none of that sharp sharpness is here it doesn't have that sharpness or screechiness anymore it is just properly blended and rounded it's just beautiful now the second one from that same haul is Assad by Latafa now Assad has always been spicy and strong and it's still spicy and strong in fact it sort of gives me a headache a little bit yeah so it's not my favorite because of this intensely spicy the middle eastern spices in here are given but i liked it then i still like it now i haven't been able to fall in love with Assad. i don't know what it is but maybe it's the headache thing but it's a beautiful strength it was strong then it is still strong now maceration didn't really change this it stayed the same basically on that same haul i have kismet for men now my reaction to this was like you know i did not like this at all it has macerated but it's still not my cup of tea it's not my sort of it's not my kind of scent it's a beautiful scent and a lot of men would actually really truly enjoy this but it's not doing it for me it's not doing it for me and it's not smelling the way i want it to smell on him you know if it came off beautiful on him i will still tolerate it but it's, it's not give there's something about it that bothers me in here it's not it's not perfect it has cooked and it's done and i don't think it would get better than this but it's not giving if you get it it's still not giving sorry it's not giving then from that same haul this is faka that's up at the extra expression and this one has macerated so beautifully i love it now I love it now just that it's a little bit boring like i have other things that smell like this in my collection so it's not anything um groundbreaking it's not anything i've not smelled before it's beautiful both on men and on women it's a perfectly unisex uh perfume it's amazing it smells really truly good but it's a bit boring to me now because i have things that smell like this it smells good if you want something like fruity sweet citruses that blends well on both men and women definitely get this but i have things like this so that's the reason but it has maturated beautifully and i love it the next one is faka black okay now this one i liked it when i sprayed it first i was like wow such a lovely fresh you know typical men's perfume now it has gotten smoother it has gotten smoother it is not super sharp fresh it's not super sharp screechy it has gotten smoother with time time has made it better in that kind of 
it's now smooth and delicious to smell on a man right but i have things that smell like this too so it's a bit boring now but maceration definitely helped this one because it's now it is so much tolerable and so much smoother and i like it i really like it now moving on to the next haul now we have sundos now sundos has always been a love the moment i sprayed it i fell in love with sundos like it was an instant love at first name it is still a love i love it so much and it just keeps getting better with time it's becoming more concentrated more intoxicating with time get some those if you don't have some those and you want it this is your this is your sign just go get it it will do you well it has been doing me well now the next one is being to Huron. and when i got this i was immediately reminded of carolina herrera good girl it still has that creaminess that sweetness this didn't really change maceration didn't really change this one it didn't make it creamier or sweeter it's literally still the same as the first day that i bought it so maceration is not really having an effect on this one it's just it stayed the same i love it though it's beautiful i'm keeping it for now now this is kismet for women and kismet for women it was super strong and different and not at all what i expected when i first sprayed it it is super unique it is spicy it's a mixture of a lot of different heavy notes it's woodsy it is spicy it is strong thick ambery very warm so i'm not really falling in love with this but it's a very unique scent and i don't have anything like this in my collection so if you're someone that likes unique different scents definitely get kids made for women very very different and now lastly i have yara tooth now when i sprayed yara tooth i was expecting a different thing i got a different thing well it changed a little bit yara more yara tooth changed a little bit in that it got sweeter yeah it got sweeter and the exotic fruits the mango sort of like passion fruit you know like mango passion fruit cherries peaches they come through more now with maceration this smells delicious with time but with maceration and with time normally the first time i sprayed it i was not that impressed i was not all that impressed but now the fruits are coming out a lot lot stronger it has a lot more presence it has a lot more body i'm not saying i love 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 it but maceration definitely changed this one in that all the notes seem to come out a lot more now you can smell a lot in this perfume and when i first sprayed it i was not impressed at all now all the fruity accords all the fruity notes they seem to come out and do the most so definitely maceration changed yara tooth basically if you have made some perfumes just let them sit and after a while if you still don't like them then you can declutter them but for now i'm loving this i'm loving this i like them well unless the perfume is an outright no-no and will always be a no-no you should just let it sit it might change your mind thank you so so much for watching i love you i love you i love you if you have not liked the video please give it a big thumbs up right now look at the big thumbs up like it like it like it then subscribe to my channel for more of me and until next time, you guys, I love you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao. <laughs>